Tesla and Elon Musk received a huge warning of the state of California. Elon Musk, CEO of companies like Tesla, SpaceX, SolarCity, and many more, his only goals are to make the cities green and fly to the red planet. But it seems like the government is not with him. So the billionaire just got mad at the Californian government for their insane tax laws. But why would he get mad at them? And more importantly, why is the government refusing to cooperate with him in the first place? Well, give the video a thumbs up and stay tuned to find out. Welcome to Genius's Guide, your daily dose of geniusness. Last year, Elon Musk, Tesla's CEO, announced that he had sold enough stock to be able to achieve his goal of selling 10% of a stake in the electric vehicle manufacturer. Musk has expressed his displeasure at California, claiming it is currently becoming a land of over-taxation and over-regulatory bodies. And he also expresses his concern over the fact that the state's citizens are increasingly motivated to leave. His remarks were made during a recent interview with the Babylon Bee, in which he mentioned that he had paid so much tax in 2017, and that this was the reason he did not pay any taxes in 2018. Musk seemed to be taking a swipe at California, saying it's become a land of litigation and high taxes that he shunned. Musk also revealed that Tesla is in the process of moving its headquarters from California to Texas, and he promised that it would happen in the near future. On November 7th, Elon Musk asked the public if they'd like him to sell 10% of his shares. Musk said in a tweet that whatever the people decide, he'll follow the results. Musk also mentioned that he didn't have a salary and had to sell stocks to pay taxes. He wrote on Twitter, Much is made lately of unrealized gains being a means of tax avoidance, so I propose selling 10% of my Tesla stock. Based on the poll, it seems that 57.9% of participants agree with him that he should sell his stock, while 42.1% disagree. MarketWatch reported that Elon Musk exercised 2 million more options and sold nearly 584,000 Tesla shares, according to a recent announcement that was made on December 20th. Elon Musk has agreed to pay more than US $11 billion in taxes last year. Elon Musk's selection by Time magazine as the person of the year for 2021 resulted in a spat between him and Senator Elizabeth Warren, after Senator Warren criticized Musk's choice by Time magazine as person of the year for 2021. According to a tweet, she called for a change in the rigged tax code and said that person of the year should stop freeloading off everyone else. Elon Musk responded by sharing a link to a Fox News article in which it's claimed Senator Elizabeth Warren lied about being Native American. Musk captioned the post, Stop projecting. He also went on to say that he would pay more taxes than any American in 2021. As part of his recent remarks, Musk also discussed a controversial political issue in California. The state's proposal on solar taxes, in a tweet he sent out, he described California's proposal as a bizarre anti-environment move by the government of California. Tesla, which makes solar roofs and panels, has created a website where users can voice their concerns to Governor Gavin Newsom, DCA, and the California Public Utilities Commission, CPUC, about the proposal. Tell Newsom and the CPUC to reject the proposed solar tax and retroactive changes to existing solar customers. As part of CPUC's controversial NEM 3.0 proposal, which will be voted on later this month, hefty fees are being imposed on solar and battery storage customers. As part of NEM 3.0, a reduction will be made to the number of credits solar customers will receive for selling back electricity to the grid. It is alleged in a report that the credit for the energy that residential solar owners send back into the grid will be lowered to a wholesale rate of approximately $0.04 per kilowatt hour. Along with the proposed reduction in net metering rates, NEM 3.0 proposes to increase the fixed monthly fees for solar owners by $8 for each kilowatt installed on their roofs, in addition to the proposed reduction in net metering rates. In other words, an individual with a 10 kilowatt system will have to pay their electric utility $80 per month in order to remain connected to the grid and to be able to send back electricity at a lower rate. During a recent press conference, Governor Gavin Newsom voiced his concern for the proposed measure, which has the support of utility-specific gas and electric, Southern California Edison and San Diego Gas and Electric. In other words, these utilities are all owned by investors. As he said, I will say this about the plan. We still have some work to do. Upon further explanation, he introduced the fact that he believes that there may need to be changes made to the proposal that is expected to be voted on by state utility regulators sometime next month. However, he did not give any details on the changes that would be made. Mr. Ken Cook, who is also the president of the Environmental Working Group and a resident of California, issued the following statement in response to Newsom's announcement. 
He said, We welcome the governor's comments and respectfully urge him to use his voice and full authority to stop the ill-conceived plan. It is clearly meant to increase profits for the utilities and crush the only competition they now face. The competition from Californians who are investing to install solar panels and increasingly battery storage on homes, businesses, schools and in communities. Moreover, according to an email sent by the Solar Energy Industries Association, SEIA, on December 13th, this decision will heavily discourage Californians from installing rooftop solar and storage and slow down the deployment of clean energy, leaving the grid vulnerable to blackouts and power outages, thereby harming California's ability to meet its clean energy goals. According to Abigail Ross Hopper, president and CEO of the SEIA, only the wealthiest individuals in the entire state of California will be able to afford rooftop solar panels. So colleges, small businesses, and the average family will not be able to participate in the future of clean energy. At this point, it appears that the only ones who are going to win are the utilities, who will be able to increase their profits at the expense of their customers. On the other hand, we urge Governor Newsom to take immediate action in order to reverse this decision. It is a concern not only for the 65,000 solar jobs, but also for the safety of the electric grid, the health of the people of California, and the health of the planet as a whole. Musk urged voters in California to vote out the state's insurance commissioner, Ricardo Lara, over the state's high insurance rates for auto insurance. Musk responded to Lara's tweet, referring to what he had tweeted on Tesla's earnings call during the fourth quarter, and he discussed Tesla's insurance when he made a comment on the subject. His tweet read, We are pushing very hard for California to change the rules to allow information, which basically means that you're as safe as your driving is measured. Apparently, Musk believes that the insurance premiums for Tesla customers will be lower if they drive safely when driving their electric cars, as this will reward Tesla financially. He said, I think the current California rules are contrary to the best interest of the consumers in California and should be changed. Later, Lara tweeted, Push all you want, but we won't bend on protecting consumer data, privacy, and fair pricing. And in the following tweet, she added that the state of California only allows vehicle data to be utilized when calculating the miles driven by a particular individual. To which Musk responded by tweeting, You should be voted out of office. Adding in a later tweet, Your policies are directly responsible for the outrageously high insurance premiums paid by Californians. According to its insurance policies, Tesla Insurance offers coverage to drivers in the following states, Texas, Arizona, Illinois, and Ohio. Ideally, insurance premiums are based on the ways in which drivers behave in real time in order to calculate the premiums. Tesla Insurance is also known as Telematics Insurance, a type of policy in which a price is calculated by monitoring the driver's driving behavior while driving. In this sense, Tesla's future is going to be a smart one. But what do you guys think about this? Let us know in the comments below and make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for us to provide you with more must-know developments in finance and technology. We'll see you soon. Peace.